This is the uh, final video on assembly of the rocket. So far we've got the body tube and the fins attached and you can see we have three total fins all spaced equally. Now it's time to add in a lot of the other parts. Let's go on the assembly tab of the command manager to insert components and I'm going to go ahead and keep visible so I'm going to put that little thumbtack down because I'm going to put in several components. First let's add in the nose cone. One nose cone. Next let's bring in the launch lug. One launch lug. Next the motor mount and also the rocket motor. Okay those are the components we need. Let's start the assembly. I'm going to orbit around and look at all the components I've got. Three of these components need to have, be concentric with the body tube but the launch lug does not so I'm going to kind of move that out of the way. Now notice again that where this little dash is over here on the features manager uh, that little dash means that the object can float. The only thing I have fixed right now is the body tube. It doesn't move but everything else can float around. Alright, let's begin the assembly with our mates. I'm going to choose mate. The nose cone, I'm going to choose something round on it. And look, I accidentally had the launch lug selected too. So I'm going to hit uh, undo. I want to mate the nose cone, as you can see here, and the body tube. And I do want those with a concentric mate, which means they have the same center. Now I definitely don't want the nose cone inside the body tube, so you can slide it out. But you can't move it um, left or right, but you can slide it out. So I'm going to put it up here for right now above. Next I'm going to take and um, put the, put the uh, motor mount inside the rocket. Let me select the motor mount, body tube, concentric mate, check. And we'll see if I can grab it and pull it out. Alright, now for the motor itself. Motor, got it right here. Body tube, concentric mate, check. Now I'm going to pull it out. Now let's go a little further in the assembly. One thing I want to do is I want the rocket motor and the motor mount to mate together. So I'm going to choose the top face of the rocket motor, the top face of the motor mount, and I'm going to use a coincident mate so that they're in the same plane. There we go. So you can look through the motor mount and see the rocket motor. Now on the motor mount and rocket motor, the, the rocket motor should stick out about a quarter of an inch. Next I want to mate the motor mount to the end of the rocket body tube. If I can get exactly on that face, there we go. Use a coincident mate and check. Motor mount and rocket motor are finished. Now it's time for the uh, nose cone. Now for the nose cone, I want to mate the top of the body tube and this face of the nose cone. But I don't want to do a co coincident mate because I want the actual nose cone to go into the body tube. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to check coincident mate, I'm going to check distance mate. I want the distance to be 0.5 inches. I'm going to click in the graphics area and let that update. That's 0.5 inches away. That's not correct. So I want to flip dimension and that goes 0.5 inches in, which is exactly what I want. Check. Okay, if you could try to grab this and move it, it'll spin but it won't come out. And for the rocket motor, same thing. If you go down to it and grab it, you can spin it but you can't pull it out. So it's in the correct location. Now all we got to do is worry about the launch lug. When the launch lug, I'm going to select it, select the body tube. You can see the default mate is concentric, but I don't want the launch lug to be inside the body tube. So I'm going to choose tangent. That'll make it on the very edge or on the outside uh, radius of the body tube. I'm going to hit check. Now you can see that the launch lug is on the outside. You also can take it and you can move it around, but as you move it, it just stays tangent. I can't pull it away from the body tube because it's always tangent. Now to place it, I'm going to look at the front of the assembled rocket. I'm going to grab the launch lug and place it up about halfway. Okay. Now I could set a mate from the bottom to the bottom of the rocket if I wanted to, but right now I'm just visually making it look right and that looks about right. I, I think I'll just leave it there. Then I'm going to look from the bottom 
and make sure it's between the fins. If it's not, if it's in front of the fin, be sure you try to move it between the fins. Okay. Let's go ahead and lock that down. So I'm going to, still got mate selected, I'm going to choose the launch lug, body tube, and you may see an error here. The default mate concentric would overdefine the assembly. Well, that, that is true, it would, but we don't want to do a concentric mate. We want to do a lock. So we'll choose lock for locking the two components together. Hit check. Now that launch lug is mated and will not move. Okay, the rocket looks good. It looks like we're pretty much finished, but we got one more thing to do. In case this launch lug breaks or something happens to it, we want to have an extra launch lug. We could just add another one in. I'm going to close mate out. We could just insert another component, add another one in. But instead, for right now, let's use circular uh, component pattern yet again. The component to pattern, launch lug. The pattern axis, body tube. Let's look at it from the bottom. This one looks like it's going to be a problem here. It's going to be in front of the fin. So let, let us do use two uh, as far as the number of patterns, but equal spacing, no. The degree value of 15 is not enough. Let's add in 120 degrees. That's good. That puts it over here on the other side. You could tweak it and you can see it's not perfectly in the middle. It's not a real problem. You could tweak it if you want to. I think I'll bring it back another 5 degrees. 115 degrees looks nice. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got our assembled rocket, nose cone, test, be sure that won't pull out, it can only turn. We've got our fins, you should be able to grab them, they should not move at all. Down on the bottom, we've got the rocket motor, should be able to grab it, spin it only, should not move. The motor mount, should be able to also spin it, but it should not be able to pull out. The launch lug, since we've locked them down, we locked the first one, the other one's patterned off of it, nothing should move there. Now the rocket's finished, we're, we're about ready to fly.